Pesach is the holiday of freedom. Zman Chilotein and the time of our redemption, our liberation of freedom. There are many different types of freedom. And also the very concept and value of freedom, which is a tremendously positive value, but it's also has a negative side. Because if a person is free, unharnessed to, to all of these evil inclinations, it can degenerate tremendously, as is obvious. One has to be able to direct the freedom properly, the freedom to enhance more and more, to fulfill more and more my latent potential, to realize my latent potential, our latent potential, the, the people of Israel. Let's go through different types of freedom and how they apply to the holiday of Passover, of Pesach. The first one, if we enumerate the freedoms according to this we know there are ten different types of freedom. The last one is the freedom of speech, which is particularly relevant to Passover, to Pesach, because the word Pesach is, is read, Pesach, it's a mouth which is able to express itself, to express the depth of the heart in the words of the mouth. That's the holiday of Pesach. The mitzvah, the primary mitzvah of Lel HaSeder, that we sit the whole family together on the Seder night, is the mitzvah to tell with our mouths the story of redemption. And the story of redemption of then is the story of redemption of now, of our generation now. But in addition to the, to the freedom of speech, there are other freedoms. That they all come together in the freedom of speech. But it begins with the, it's called the, I'll now use the, the terminology, the common terminology in political thought, freedom of religion. In, in the context of holiness is the freedom to define within the faith system, the belief system of the Torah, to find my personal, my heart way of reaching and addressing the Almighty. That's freedom, the freedom of religion within the true religion of Judaism. The freedom of thought, to be able to think, People do not realize how much the culture and the society limits, places limits on the ability to, to think, to think out of the box, as we mentioned in a previous talk. There is the freedom of press, there is the freedom of association. Who's the friend? I can befriend whoever I want. There's no limits on my freedom to associate with whoever I desire to associate. There's freedom to bear arms, especially in Israel, it's a freedom which is violated. All of these freedoms are violated in modern culture, especially now in the state of Israel. There's the freedom of assembly, freedom to gather together, group, large groups of people, in order to declare their desire and their criticism with the political system. There's freedom of education. You need to give your children the edu the, exactly the education that you desire. The freedom of movement, also freedom which is violated greatly in the present state of Israel. To be able to move freely within the borders of our promised land. This freedom is very, very delicate. It's called the freedom of sex. But even in the context of Kedusha, of sanctity, there is also the freedom to marry from tribe to tribe, in the desert it was forbidden to intermarriage between tribes was forbidden. When the marriage became permissible to marry whatever Jewish soul I fall in love with, I desire, that is free, that is definitely a very, very important freedom. It's so great that a holiday was was made just for that freedom, the holiday of the 15th day of the month of Adam in Achimah. The final freedom is the freedom of speech, the primary freedom of the holiday of Pesach. <laughs>